Legginess is a term in which you have heard, or if you haven't heard, you may have experienced or seen online. This is a cup of radish seeds. Now, disclaimer, do not start radishes indoors, in seed trays, nothing like that. Go ahead and start them outdoors at the appropriate time for your growing area in the spring <clears throat> and in the fall. These were used as a germination test on seeds that were about seven years old. So it does illustrate what happens to a plant when it doesn't get enough light. And that is what legginess, the definition is. A plant that is a spindly, that reaches for light, that doesn't have adequate amount of light as it's growing. This will only occur indoors, doesn't happen outside. This will happen with peppers, eggplants, uh, tomatoes. Brassicas are very known and prone to legginess. So what do you do once you have a plant that has become, let's pretend these are brassicas, the, the uh, broccoli, the cauliflower, the cabbage, the kale. There's not much you can do. Once it has gotten to this point, it's irreversible. The best answer that a professional gardener can give you is pull them up and start over. The exception to that rule is tomatoes. If tomatoes are very leggy in a cup like this, you can take and plant them deeper in the next up planting or seed tray or cup in which you're growing them in. Peppers and eggplants, you can bury them slightly, but it doesn't uh, per, per, provide the stem uh, root development like the tomato does with the hair follicles. So what causes this is inadequate lighting, as I explained. Many gardeners will use a south-facing, east-facing, west-facing window in order to germinate their seeds, which is nothing wrong with that. However, it may not provide you with the adequate amount of light, and your plants begin to grow towards the light, stretching, trying to get more light. Another uh, result of legginess is using poor quality or low quality lights, grow lights. Uh, we've experienced this when we've used the traditional shop lights that you get for $15 at your big box store. Um, and you got to put the light right on the plant and it just doesn't give the adequate light. And you move it up a little bit and it really stretches. We have found with our experience over the last six to eight years is using an LED light and we use them from Happy Leaf LED, made in the USA, out of the upper Midwest. They have, the owner has under, understands and has studied the light spectrum, the light in, uh, footprint, the intensity of light, the color, the rays of light in which plants need in order to have more light indoors in your grow room than they could possibly need to grow. So the unique aspect of the Happy Leaf LED light is you don't have to have that light directly on the plant as it's growing and then work its way up. We have it and we have found that you keep it about eight, nine, 10 inches above the plant at any given growth cycle and the intensity is so massive that the plant never asks or stretches for more light because there's so much light coming off of the uh, bar of the LEDs. So, Legginess, if you have that problem, uh, it's because you're not giving the plants enough light and it's not really a fixable problem, exception to the rule with the tomatoes. So now you know what legginess is and how to prevent it before it happens to you. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.